T-Mobile Retail is now a very credible high street retailer in the UK. We've now got 258 stores trading. The pace of change over the last two years is something we should all be very proud of. It's been nothing short of incredible. Technology has been a really, really big part of that progress to date, but it'll be an even stronger and more important part to our success going forwards. Having a retail system that really does bring to life and deliver for our customers is central to our success. A system that enables you to deliver for our customers and provide great service is what this is all about. I think this is really, really exciting, and I know that you'll want to find out more really quickly. So here goes. Some of you will have heard of the One System Project. To be honest, I didn't know much about it until recently. All I know is that T-Mobile has been looking at its big central systems and has now decided on a new set of technology to improve those processes. From accounting to warehousing. T-Mobile is now looking at the next phase and this will have an even more direct impact on how we work and how our shops serve customers. We all know that there is great opportunity to improve all aspects of our retail operations. I'm really pleased to know that T-Mobile is starting this whole process by talking to us to see what we need now and what we think we need for the future. So, phase two is already underway. We haven't got a name for it yet. We'll be asking you for your suggestions in due course. You may have taken part or heard of some of this over the last few months. We've been visiting shops around the country to understand the processes, the problems and the opportunities. We've been conducting workshops to focus on specific problems and get better understanding of your aspirations. We've been looking at new technologies and imagining how these can be used to improve our game. Yep, Team Mobile is listening to people that are in the know. That's probably not a bad place to start. Let's listen to a few real issues we've picked up so far. Currently a store just throughout the day record things manually on A4 bit of paper, which quite frankly, you know, obviously in 2007 is not really where we want to be. The reporting effectively comes the next afternoon via uh, a PDF to the store and really just can't run your business. What we need, really need to do is provide both the stores and the centre with reporting throughout the day that actually gives uh, a current status of how stores are forming against each of the sort of uh, key KPIs absolute real time where they are so they can focus and obviously congratulate those stores that are doing well and also drive those performance of those stores that perhaps are struggling for the day. At the moment there are certain functions and services we can't do for customers in store and that have to be done through customer services. Certain things such as changing their name, address, their price plans, it would be a lot easier if we could have a system that integrates that. I think that would make for a better customer experience. The real problem is, is that with the current learning development structure in retail is that there is one person and potentially 400 new employees. So we have to rely on e-learning. The current system doesn't have the capacity to be able to have a training mode on the system. It requires a lot of chase up, requires a lot of follow up. I think the front of house it would be great for um, store manager learning to be able to use the operations like booking in stock and booking out stock without having 500 potential errors on the system that takes about eight hours to fix. What struck me in seeing the, uh, the systems within most of the T-Mobile shops is the, the sheer variety of applications that the uh, staff have to deal with. Um, and we've looked at these systems and it seems sometimes that they're working rather against the, the interests of the staff and indeed the business. Uh, they have to be picking up applications from the system tray, moving between different applications, making sure that certain applications are loaded before others uh, are run. I mean, that's quite a, uh, it's quite a, a stress to be putting on uh, a member of staff to manage all of the computer systems while they're supposed to be providing an excellent uh, sales uh, service uh, to the customers. We think there should be uh, an absolutely integrated system uh, available all the time. We've been looking at lots of possible solutions to all the issues we've heard from you so far. Obviously, a strong point of sale system is absolutely key, but there are lots of other complementary technologies we might consider. This is a solution called Retail Manager. It's a store communications solution that can deliver the T-Mobile business visions and messages to all associates in a fast, easy and controlled manner. Retail Manager can help our processes by ensuring that communications are targeted to the right people, avoiding information overload. People only see information that's absolutely relevant to themselves and their role within T-Mobile. Customers can often find it difficult to make a choice and hesitate to buy. 
This system from QuickHeart offers a revolutionary way to help you quickly and confidently identify a handset and tariff that are perfectly suited to their personal needs. Tariff selection is made using the customer's own usage patterns and the handset selection by inputting the customer's own criteria. The confidence generated by QuickHeart's methodologies has been proven to make customers three times more likely to buy without that hesitation. Here's something that Microsoft is just launching. It's being sponsored by T-Mobile in association with Microsoft. It's the first generation of something that could totally change how we interact with computers. It's an intelligent, interactive screen that lets you move information around just like you would on a table but it can recognize devices like cameras and phones and we think it could really revolutionize how we take customers through the sales process. And it's also a lot of fun. These are our medium to long term objectives for the T-Mobile store of the future. Around a quarter of visitors to our shops intend to buy our services or products but a significant number of them have to leave without our being able to provide what they want. We believe we should expect to meet every customer's needs, even at busy periods, even if the product isn't in stock or on advance order, even if any of T-Mobile's central systems are down. So, we're aiming to create a system that will help you to increase conversion, a system that will always be available to help you serve the customer quickly, with full information, and avoiding any manual processes. We think we need a system that can handle customers' future orders and back orders, helping to close sales even when products are out of stock. Customers are expecting a much better connection between our stores, the internet, telesales and perhaps new channels like the virtual world. We need to be able to offer real multi-channel retailing. If we know our customers and our shops better and if we have the right delivery technology, there's an opportunity to create much more targeted and dynamic promotions to help drive sales. A modern system should give us real-time sales and commission information to help us monitor key performance and achieve sales targets. Most of the time things run smoothly. What we could have is reporting by exception, more self-regulation and the automation of process compliance. The technology exists to achieve much faster stock receiving and dispatch processes and to give us instant stock information so that data is immediately updated and ready for customer sale. We could have wireless stock counting to improve efficiency and accuracy. We could have wireless queue busting handheld terminals, small tills that we can take out of a drawer at busy times. We should be able to offer service kiosks for some tasks, perhaps self-service or assisted sales kiosks and information points for payments, account inquiries, account updates and such like. A smart system should be able to help staff through the sales process, providing help and customer information on request and suggestions about possible additional sales. The system should have a training mode and online learning programs to speed up induction and to help us keep current with the latest innovations in the industry. We may not be able to achieve a totally paperless store, but there's a huge amount that we could get rid of. Or perhaps we should aim to be the first telco to go paperless. Above all though, we'll be looking at new technologies where we believe that they will help us improve the working day, customer service and sales. So there it is. Above all, we're listening to what you think we need as we go through the process of understanding what T-Mobile needs for the store of the future. So, what's happening next? We're taking some of these ideas on the road and getting some initial reactions. There'll be a more complete showcase of these ideas later on in the summer. We will be keeping you in the loop and letting you know about progress. We'll be inviting your comments on particular issues and always looking to hear your ideas. We'll be looking to set up an information resource, discussion forum and blogs. More of that later.